Alrighty. Okay. Hello, everyone. Praise God. It is Friday, September the 23rd, and we are here once again. I'm Nina Boyd. And I'm Gregory. And we are Pinpoint Prayer Team. Mm -hmm. And we are still praying for Chicago, and we are seeing great changes and expecting more. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Everyone's coming on, so we're just coasting at this point just to get started. Okay. Yep. Hey, Nick, and Ivan, and Jenny, and I always miss her name. Andrea. Andrea. Hello. 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 <laughs> and Mike. <laughs> All these faithful people. Amen. They're getting their muscles. Every person that's doing this, they're getting. It's like they're working out. Because the more you pray for somebody else, it's developing your faith to pray for your own needs. That's right. Like I told you earlier, I do, I do not like to go somewhere and pray for somebody and walk away and don't see any results. <laughs> because it's like, you. I remember one time I went to this, well, anyway, actually that was a good blessing. I, anyway, I went to this Indian hospital here in Tulsa. It's like an hour from where, where I live at. They took me there. The lady had six months to live. No, 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 no. She was going, they was, she was about to pass away. <laughs> they were, the families were there and everything. So at that time, I, I was still in the process of learning how to pray. So I told the whole family to leave the room and let me just talk to the lady. Because, you know, they were all in unbelief. That's what the Bible says. So I kicked them out, which I don't really have to do all that now. I just get in faith and, and pray for them while they're in there and things that happen. I mean... So anyway, I prayed for this lady, and um, I prayed a simple prayer. It wasn't just nothing special. I just asked her about her name and talked to her briefly and told her I came from Tulsa to pray for you. And we prayed and left. I didn't see any change, nothing. That night, God healed her. A couple of weeks later, she was out of the hospital. And it's like, that's one of the greatest feelings in the world to know that you, you are apart God used you to set somebody free or get them healed or whatever because you've been developing yourself in your spirit because everything we're doing confessing the word of God over Chicago is it's for us it's Amen. For, it's for them because God is using our faith he needs something from us mm -hmm. to do things the Holy Spirit only way he can move you forward in power or whatever he has to have something from you and that's your faith that's your authority. And uh, like I, I told you you all earlier, that, that, that authority, in order to walk in strong authority, you have to be a, submit to somebody. So mm -hmm. basically, we're representing the body of Christ. We're representing Jesus. So who's going to empower us to do what we are asking for him to do? It's Jesus. I mean, because everything that it's like it's almost like everything that we're trying to accomplish down here has already been accomplished mm. through Jesus. So, I'm trying to find ways to to get people to understand that what we're asking for uh uh for Chicago to be set free and for Chicago to be touched by the power of God is it's it's a part of God's mind. So, it's not a matter of us begging God to do something. We're just following out in authority. The Holy Spirit is going to move on, move us forward in more power to accomplish what we need to accomplish down here because it's a part of his plan, it's a part of his mind. But he can't do those things down here uh, unless he works through the Christians or work through born-again people. So our job is to represent Jesus. So how do we represent Jesus? By the way, we dress when we go to church. Don't have anything to do with that. We represent Jesus by speaking his word and by doing what the Holy Spirit tell us to do. Hey, there's those hearts again. They're all over the place. <laughs> Boy, that's so cool. Anyway, we when we go place, we are, we, are, we are ambassadors. When we speak his word, it's like Jesus. There's a black Jesus. There's a white Jesus. There's a Chinese Jesus. I mean, in other words, we are, he's working through us. To accomplish what he needs to accomplish down here. And the worst thing in the world is for a person to die and go to hell and realize they didn't have to go there. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I mean, My Lord. if you really think about that, the worst thing in the world is to 
is to leave this planet. Your, your body stays here. Your spirit goes and be wherever. Because we are basically eternal beings. We're going to live forever. This body is just a lot. It's just for us to be here on this planet. But once this falls off of us, we're just going to blink our eyes and we're going to be somewhere. And I just, I know it's like, it's, I'm just, I'm just going places in my mind and thinking about the people that's doing bad things. They really don't know what they are doing. The devil has blinded them so much that they, they feel like what they're fighting for is so important. Hmm. And so what we have to do when we pray, God takes a, takes advantage of that prayer and go in because he can't do it. God cannot do it unless somebody pray. Amen. Well, God can do anything. Well, if he can do anything, he can make you live right. If, well. I mean, mm. God can't do, only thing he can do is what we allow him to do. Mm -hmm. But when we leave this body, we all, our rights and authority is gone, if you know what I mean. We can't operate the way, but we can operate. I don't even have to serve God if I, didn't want to, if I don't want to. We have a right to do whatever we want to do. So why not use our rights and our authority for him? Amen. It's not hard to walk in authority. What makes authority work is when you do it his way. Mm. I mean, somebody make me mad. I say, I just command you to die tomorrow in Jesus' name. That's not God. But when I begin to speak life over situations, that's who we are. Mm -hmm. We say God is love. <laughs> we say God is love. I say we are love. Because we, the ones that are born again and have his nature, we have the same capacity to walk in the love of God as our father. Mm -hmm. we, we, are part of, we are part of God. We are part of Jesus and Jesus is a part of God. God is love. Jesus is love. And guess what? We are love. But we have so much flesh and emotions and, and what we see and what we feel. Those things control our lives and we really don't know the treasure that we have on the inside of us. Amen. So what we asking, what, what God is asking all of us to do is to come together as a family. Mm -hmm. Why come we have to wait till we get to heaven? Oh, I love you now. I didn't love you on earth, but now I love you now. I mean, <laughs> why not come together now as a family and aim our prayers in the right direction to see life, to see those people in, in Chicago, eyes of their understanding begin to open up. And once their eyes of their understanding begin to open up, they begin to wake up. And God is able to minister to those people. Because we don't know the capacity of what we're doing until we get on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, what God, we can know through the Spirit, don't get me wrong. But when we get over there in heaven, and we're going to see what we could have done for God. And we didn't do for God. And we lose the rewards. I always, a lot of people say, well, when you walk, and I'm, I'm just talking to getting everybody on before I, before, before we pray and everything. How you doing, Becky? How you doing, uh, Mikalaya? She's from, oh, I forgot where she's from. She's from Asia, I believe, somewhere in that part of the country. Anyway, I know she's going to get mad at me because I didn't get it right. But just think about it. I'll, I think to my, this is how I look at it, and it has really encouraged my faith. Just hear me out. Um... I look at it like this. When we stand before God and we go through that fire, whatever that fire is, and he begin to look at our conscience and, and it's just, it's, it'd be just like a movie screen from our conscience because he's going to be able to, everything that we do down here is being recorded through our conscience. It talks about that in Romans, uh, second chapter. But anyway, we stand before him and we go through that fire and whatever we did for him will stand and whatever we didn't do for him will be burned up. I look at it like this. And, and then your eye, the person is crying and Jesus wipe your, your tears away and then you go on in, into the glory. But uh, I look at it like this. Why not? Just check this out. This is pretty cool. We, we stand before Jesus and he lets you experience the fullness of what you, what you, um, what you, could, what you have accomplished. In other words, you've done well, well done, my good and faithful servant. In other words, you, you get a chance to experience the fullness of it. And I, and I mean, it's incredible. I mean, you, it's like 110%. Then you go through that fire, and he began to take this off, and take that off, and take this off, and take that off. And then all you have left 
It's just your salvation. And you're the reason why the person is crying because they experienced the fullness of pleasing Jesus, the fullness of pleasing their father. And, and the, whatever those rewards are that he has for his children for being faithful while we're down here, we get a chance to, a chance to experience it. Can you imagine that? Ah. Oh. And then he takes it away because you didn't feel like praying for Chicago. You didn't My feel... Lord. <laughs> just... oh boy. I mean, I'm just, I'm not trying to put a guilt trip on you, but I'm just speaking reality. I mean, spiritual reality. I mean, all he's, all you could do is just get on here. I'm not asking for money. Oh, please, please give us big money to keep us in online so we can pray for Chicago. <laughs> not asking you for a dime. Well, okay. How they do it? Not asking you for a dime. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm getting carried away here. <laughs> All I'm asking you to do is take a few minutes of your time and get in agreement and pray. And then check this out. He'll give you, when you get on the other side, he'll, he'll look at you like you did it. I mean, in other words, we the way the anointing works is we step out the way and let the Holy Spirit work through us to accomplish the work that he needs to accomplish down here. But when we get on the other side, the rewards are, you did it. Can you imagine that? Man. And I think about that almost every day that I stand before him. I want to re- be able to keep as much of, 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 do as much for God as I possibly can. That's, mm-hmm. wh- that's why we're doing this. Mm-hmm. He dropped it in our heart. In my heart, my wife in agreement with because believe me, if the Lord says anything to me or if I have a, uh, uh, some kind of impression that he's speaking to me, I go to Nina, my wife. I talk to her about it. If she doesn't have no, uh, a check in her spirit, I throw it out. I was like, okay, and that was just me making up some something because we, we are together in this. Mm-hmm. We work as a fam- We work as one arm. Amen. I mean, the Bible says when two come together, they become one, but it may take a lifetime to experience that oneness. <laughs> it may take a while. But we work together. Amen. And now, I mean, over 20 years of us being together, Mary, uh, we learned a lot. I learned a whole lot. Anyway, we won't go there. But but all I'm doing right now is encouraging you all to do what you are created to do. We are all in the ministry of reconciliation. If, the, if earthquakes and all these the terrorist attacks... We have a power on the inside of us, a force on the inside of us that's more greater than any force in the universe. Amen. And it's, and it's just lying dormant on the inside of us. Mm. What we can do, we can speak the word of God and command things to change. Man, and then when I get to heaven, he'll look at us like it was us. He'll give us the reward that the Holy Spirit worked through us to do. Huh? And all he's asking us to do is just to pray for a city that needs help. Well, what about this city? What about that city? What about the police brutality? What about the blacks? What about the whites? What about this? What about that? Well, you know what? If he's talking to you about dealing with that, get your group together. Teach them how to do the same thing we're doing. And then you get the, you, you'll reap the rewards and when you get to heaven. Or you'll reap the rewards before you get to heaven. All I'm doing is doing the best that we can to be obedient to what he's telling us to do. Amen. So, it's more faithful that we are to do what we're doing. It's going to, and you guys jump aboard and begin to learn these things and do these things and cause change. And some of you all know how to do it better than I do. Praise God. Well, do something with it. Mm-hmm. What do you think you're in church for? You're, you're at your church. You're learning these principles that he's teaching you so you can go out of your church and change your your world, your life, your situation, your surroundings. That's what we do. We're not. I'm not going to my pastor. I did that for years, and I still do it. But I take what he has taught us, mm-hmm. and I apply it every day to cause change. And I'm telling you, the more we apply these things, the stronger our faith would come become, and the stronger our authority would become, because we know that we are under authority. Under Amen. Jesus. Amen. So that means we are representing God. Mm-hmm. You are representing God. So when you say something, guess who's going to back you up? Well, all right. The Holy Spirit is going to back you up. The Amen. power is going to back you up. Amen. All the power in heaven is going to back your words because you are representing Jesus. You are representing the Father God. So 
I'm going to preach it up and storm That's all right. That's okay. Give your offerings to, uh, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just trying to, I just felt to, en to encourage you all that we are making a difference. Mm -hmm. uh, before we started these prayers for Chicago, a couple of, uh, this is our 17th time on. Um, Chicago didn't, they, hey, there goes the devil's fire. And all those little beautiful hearts, man, that's so cool. But anyway, guess what? They now they have a uh, 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 what I'm trying to say. Now they have police. They're gonna hire close to a thousand police police to help with the city situation. How do you think that happened? Do you think they just had an idea? Hey, guess what? Let's get a thousand policemen and the money and everything. The new jobs in the city for policemen and everything. That was that was us. Amen. We did, did that. that. You all did that. We all came together as a family and changed. We are now moving. Things are starting to be moved out the way. After the police come, then other things is going to happen. Then other things is going to happen. Then you're going to notice the crime rate begin to go down. Then you're going to notice the unemployment goes, begin to go down. That's because of what you all are doing. It's not about us. It's about the family coming together as a family. I am so tired of seeing people talk about other ministries and talk about this person and talk about that person. Use your faith to pray for those ministries. Amen. Use your faith to pray for stuff that you see, false prophets and all of this. I see a lot of stuff, and I'm trying to keep from being one myself. <laughs> so pray for me. <laughs> My God, pray for me. <laughs> but I'm having fun here. But use all that energy. And turn it on, turn it around and say, Lord, clean my heart up so I can be able to have my prayers answered. Because I know if I get offended, I can't get my prayers past a wet paper bag. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. All right. Let's get started. I didn't preach up a storm here. Well, I mean, I just exalted up a storm here. You have anything to say, sweetheart? No, dear. You've said it all. And praise God, it was good. And so let's go ahead and pray. Okay. It's just about that time. Okay. All right. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father, we thank you right now for what you have started. Yes. We thank you, Father, that you are finishing it. And Father, we thank you that you can't do what you would like to do on this earth unless someone prays. Yes. So, Father, we thank you that you have chosen us to be a part of your plan. Yes, Lord. For Chicago. All of us, Father. And, Father, we thank you that all of us are coming together yes. as a pen, on a as a ready writer, marking our target. Thank you, and Lord. Father, we are pushing back the powers of darkness Thank in you, Chicago. Thank you, we come against all the murders and all the, 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 the uh, 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 climb, if I get my words right, uh, bad things. <laughs> we thank you right now, Father, that your hand is up on Chicago, yes, moving Lord. things out the way, yes, causing Lord. things to be set in place. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you that the people there are protected. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And the bad people thank you, Father. are protected. In other words, Father, you are sustaining them until yes, their Lord. eyes of their understanding be open, Thank that they you, may Father. turn from their wicked ways. Yes. But Father, you we know now that we can't you can't do what you want to do unless somebody get in agreement. Yes, hallelujah. Whether there are two or three gathered in your name, we know that you are there. Yes. So Father, we thank you right thank now you, that we are we are coming together. Yes, as a hallelujah. family, hallelujah. and we are moving our desires out away to the side, and our callings away, and we are coming together as a family and praying. Yes, we are speaking the word of God over the city of Chicago. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, that the the the, the school systems are changing. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, that the finances are are not are moved out of the enemy's hands into the people of God. Yes, Lord. Are uh, people of wisdom. Yes. To begin to use that money correctly Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you right now that your hand is upon those people that has called to handle finances. Thank you, Lord. The Jesus. Ministry of Entrepreneurship. Father, we thank you that that ministry is going strongly in Chicago. And the people that has the finances are now beginning to step out of their comfort zone to begin to put the money in the right hands to do what it needs to be done. Yes, Because everybody has a part to play. Thank because you, of change in Chicago. Yes, Lord. We're doing our part, Father, by giving you what you need to work with. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we thank you right now that not only the, the school systems are changing, but the 
the unemployment rate is going down and new yes. businesses are being resurrected in that city. Yes, Lord. And I come against violence in the name of Jesus. The yes. people that are doing the violence, I command that their eyes of their understanding be open. That they begin to see themselves the way you see them in the state of condition that they're in. Yes, Lord. So, Father, we thank you right now. In the name of Thank Jesus, you, that there's a change, there's a refreshing, there's a hope that's coming to the city of Chicago. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. You, we God. bind the devil in every area of what he's trying to hold back. Change is now like a floodgate, and this change is going into that city. How is the change coming into that city? It's through the people's minds. Yes, Lord. And you're you're raising up leaders in that city. Yes, hallelujah. And you're changing the the mayor, the government, the police. Yes, we Lord. all people in leadership. We pray for change. Yes. Change as far as them being awakening in their minds concerning you, concerning yes, doing the right thing. Yes. And Lord. the ones that don't want to get on board, Father, we command those people to be moved out of the office. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We Thank you, Father, that the people that that's, that's, on, uh, that's on unemployment is trying to make it, Thank you're giving them hope. You're give, giving you, them uh, encouragement, yes, and Lord. you're giving them strength, and you're giving them favor, Father. And we command money to come from the north, south, east, and west in that city yes, and Lord. move into the right direction, into the right hands to Thank do the right you, thing Thank you, Father. with the finances there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You have Thank anything? You, and we just... Speak it to be so yes. right now that the gangs mm -hmm. that dominate various areas, the south side and the west side, yes. we speak it to be so that those gangs are disbanded right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name we speak it to be so they're disbanded right now in Jesus' name. And they're removed from those areas right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We speak it to be so that they have no more influence over those young children and over that neighborhood. Yes. Right now, in Jesus' name, we break that oppression. Yes. We break that demonic presence yes. there. Hallelujah. We break it in Jesus' name. Yes. And we speak it to be so that the people flood into the churches, Father. And you, at the same time, you're raising up the church people in those areas, Father, to be able to meet their needs and to minister to them, Lord God, and to set them free. Yes, because they are all free. We speak it to be so they are all free. We're calling them all free right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, and the kind of degradation and deplorable situations they've been exposed to shall no longer be. They shall no longer be right now in Jesus' name. Jesus. We speak hope. Yes. We speak uh, encouragement. We yes. speak refreshing. We yes. speak provision. Yes. Where there was no hope, there is now hope. Yes. Lord. Where there was no joy, there is now joy. Thank you, Jesus. Where there was no light, there is now light, Father. And we just give you all the praise for it, Lord. Yeah. Lord. Right you, now in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Visit them, those people, and touch them in a way they'll never forget, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. From the least to the greatest, mm -hmm. Lord. Hallelujah. And, and Father, I just I feel impressed to pray for each and every person that's a part of, of the, your plan for the city of Chicago Bless them, Father, yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, if they're Lord. sick in their bodies, I command them to be healed yes, in, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. If they're dealing with finances problems, I command favor to follow yes, them Lord. right now, yes, to Lord. fall on them right now. Thank you, Lord if they're dealing with family members with problems, we, we pray for wisdom and understanding yes. and eyes of their understanding Hallelujah. be open, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray for the body of Christ. Yes. We pray for the church, Father. Thank you, Lord. That they would come together as a family and begin yes. to aim their prayers in the right direction. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you right thank now for you, what Lord. you have started. Thank and we you, thank Lord. you, Father, that, that it will be finished. Yes, hallelujah. We thank you right now that your hand is up on you, the people of God yes, that are Lord. praying yes, Lord. in line with your word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Remember, when you don't when you when you get offended, when you get upset, it stops your prayers. 
that's basically Mark 11 I'm talking about, 23, 24, 25. I mean, you, you can speak to the mountain and it, and it, won't, it won't move because you haven't dealt with those things that's holding you back. And so that's what we're doing here is coming together as a family. Yes. And, and it's, not only, it's, not, it's not only about Chicago. Because when we come together as a family, we begin to search our own hearts and begin to begin to work on those areas um, that's holding us back. Because I mean, if you can't if you can't forgive somebody, <laughs> let me tell you something: you can't really pray accurately. I mean, I remember one few years ago, my pastor told me we was going through some situation, uh, finances or whatever, and he said that God is sustaining you right now. Mm-hmm. See what God does to the body of, to the to people to the body of Christ. I'm gonna say us that if you're not where you're supposed to be, He's just gonna He's just gonna sustain you. He's gonna keep you going if you don't give up. Until you get yourself into uh, into the right area with him in your relationship with him, spending that time with him, then he can overflow blessings into your life. The kind of blessings that we we hear preachers talk about and everything like that. But those things can't happen if your heart is not right. Amen. So that's why we pray over and over every single day mm-hmm. because it's doing something to us. That's right. Because a, 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 a person that's righteous, I mean, righteous means basically you're born again and you have the nature of God. But righteous basically means you are in right standing with God. That means you, ain't get, you don't have anything in you that will cause him not to hinder you from receiving what, he, what you've been asking for. Because what you're asking for is something that he wants you to have. So come on now, let's get it together, church. It's time for us to grow up. Give me all those wonderful hearts. Man, that is so awesome. It's just like an explosion. <laughs> Watch. Come on. Anyway, they just did it. <laughs> you have anything to say, honey? No, just that, um, I mean, we did finish praying, right? Yeah. Like, you kinda, yes. Okay. I'm, I'm just excited. Say right that, 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 Amen. That, 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 Amen. You. <laughs> it don't take much for me to be happy. Yes, that's okay. almost that time. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love you. More change is coming. Hallelujah. More more of the anointing there is coming and it's going to break every yoke that's over that city. Hallelujah, Jesus. All now in Jesus name and we're going to see the fruition we're going to see it come into existence yes. in Jesus name the result of all of that yes. right now in Jesus we thank you Father yeah. hallelujah <laughs> Praise hallelujah God. Jesus thank, thank you Jesus Father. I'm just I'm really thank excited you, Lord. I'm excited because change is starting now yes. change is happening there hallelujah uh, man we got our brother-in-law lives what's been going on up there um, about the drive-bys and all of that and just but we see changes changes taking place yes Lord. they hired about a close to a thousand policemen already since we've been since we started doing these prayers and that's just the beginning Amen. at the wild there's gonna be other changes Amen. and other changes and like I like I said I know we having problems around the country in this United States so with, the, with the police and, and this angry folks against the blacks and the whites. But I, he's telling me to stay focused on Chicago. Once we get through with Chicago, we're going to move to something else. But if he's talking to you about praying for your neighborhood and praying for your city and getting people together, by all means, go ahead and do it. Mm-hmm. If you want to call it pinpoint prayer, that's not something that the Lord gave me, go ahead and do it. But if, he's, if you have a better name, praise God, go ahead and do it. What's happening is the whole body of Christ is going to start coming together mm-hmm. and praying. Hallelujah, Jesus. All right. Amen. I'm saying the same thing over, but I'm excited. You have anything else to say? Because we can be ready to go. No, darling. I'm off tonight, so I'm happy. I'm happy, too. Yeah. Okay. We love you guys. We love you all. God bless you. Uh, have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend and a safe weekend. Listen to your spirit when you go out. Pray over your family and and forgive everything that moves, as Pastor Dave used to say. <laughs> forgive everything that moves. Amen. I forgive Amen. you. Amen. I'm sorry for anything I've done to you. 
Would I do anything to you? Uh, no, dear. Not <laughs> unless you did something I don't know about. Well, I, I, did you? What did you do? I just ate something out the refrigerator without you knowing about it. <sighs> anyway. Anyway. Why we, did I ask? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, man, we better get off here, honey. They're just looking at us like, what's wrong with them? <laughs> we love you guys. I'm fine. No. Don't okay. forget to share the videos. Right. <laughs> yeah, share the videos. Share the, the videos. The more people get involved in this, the better. Amen. And more people are going to start learning how to pray. Because what we're teaching is something that you already know, but you just need to exercise it. And the more you exercise it, the stronger it's going to become. Then you not only can take authority in your own life. And the first thing he's going to tell you is what's holding you back from taking authority. Those things in your life that we all have. And we call them nanya. Nanya business. <laughs> <laughs> those personal, private things. And once you begin to you deal with those things, then you'll be in another place in God. Hallelujah. I can Amen. go on and on and on. Got to go, guys. We love you. Love Thank you. you. God bless. Bye. Bye.